welcome everyone so today i'm going to show you a method by which you can find the sixth root of such a big number okay now the only thing given in this entire question is that the answer for this one is a proper integer okay it's a proper number it doesn't have any decimals in it okay so that is very very important for us to know because if it has decimals then things change the method also changes for you know finding the square root of decimals okay and in case you all are wondering how to find square root of decimals then please go ahead and check the link above or at the end of the description i have put the same video you can go ahead and check it out after you finish watching this particular video so now coming back to this question see what you have over here is how many digits you all whenever you have something like this happening okay your first step is to count the number of digits okay so we'll see one two three four five six seven eight nine so we have nine digits okay and so now we will see whether you know this answer is a two digit number or a three digit number so for that first let's check what is the answer when you do 10 raised to 6 you have what 1 and how many zeros 6 zeros right so total number of digits sorry your v i am i have done one more zero yeah that's it okay so we have just six zeros okay so basically number of digits over here is what seven now let's say if the answer was a three digit number so let's say try to understand what will be the number of digits of 100 raised to 6 so we'll have one and then how many zeros 12 zeros right so this is 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 okay so there are how many digits in this particular case we have 13 digits now please understand if the digit total number of digit in your question is less than 13 less than 30 okay in that case what happens is that your answer by default will be a two digit number if your if your it was like around 14 something like that then you could have said that the entire answer is a three digit answer but now since this sixth root of this big number it has only nine digits in this particular scenario so we will say that these will have only two digits okay this is very very important for you all to know okay once you have figured this out now we will start with working of value of b okay now in order to find the value of b what you should be doing is see we should always focus on the last digit of our answer of our question so since the last digit is 5, we will we need to remember all these squares from 1 to 9 whose last digit is 5. Obviously, we know that only in between all of these numbers, only 5 is a number whose square is going to get you what 25. Right? Then let's say 5 cube that gets you what 125. 5 raised to 4 gets you what? 625, right? Then so on and so forth. So basically you are seeing that no matter what power I am doing, what power I am raising to 5, the final digit, the final answer has the digit of 5. So by default, we can say that value of B will be what? 5. This much has to be very, very clear to every one now let's try and understand what is the value of a now see understand what we are doing how many sixth root right so what we'll do is we'll cancel six digits from your right four five and six so now in order to find the value of a you are just focused on the number of 244 okay now what we'll do is that we will try and find out what is 2 raised to 6 
थ्री रेस टू सिक्स सो ऑन एंड सो फो ना टू रेस टू सिक्स इज वॉट सी टू रेस टू आई कैन राइट दिस एज नथिंग बट वॉट टू क्यूब द होल रेस टू टू राइट टू क्यूब इज वॉट एट स्क्वेर द होल सॉरी एट एंड द होल रेस टू टू दैट क्यू एट स्क्वेर सो द आंसर फॉर टू क्यूब इज नथिंग बट सिक्सटी फोर Now similarly, let's try for three raised to six. Three raised to six can be written as what? Three raised to three, the whole raised to two again. So three raised to three is what? Twenty-seven, and twenty-seven square. The answer for this one is seven twenty-nine. Okay. Now students, so please understand. Before going ahead, you know, do go ahead and hit the like button. if you like the way i'm explaining and also also share these kind of videos with math enthusiasts and people who are literally like struggling with math because apart from these i have solved many questions which are very very trivial but still people make mistakes so you can go ahead and check my channel for the same it has more than 1000 videos as of now and every day i upload literally two videos and most of them are actually questions raised by my students itself so in case you also have a doubt then you can put your doubt in the comment section or you can email me at fast and easy maths at gmail dot com okay I'm not promising you immediately I will solve the paper, uh, solve your question but yes I will definitely try to solve and your question and make a video on the same okay now coming back your see we saw that two raised to six is getting you the value of sixty four. And three raised to six is getting you the value of seven twenty nine. Now what happens in this case is please understand. You need to check your a value. Your if your a value is greater than three, then you will have to check for what four raised to six as well. But since here if you are saying a value is obviously greater than two, but it is lesser than three. and since they have already told us that your entire answer has to be in the form of an proper number no no decimals okay in that case what we can say the value of a the value of a will be just 2 so here we can definitely say that the final answer final answer for this particular question is nothing but 20 5 a value was 2 and b we figured out that the b value is 5 okay so i hope you all have understood how to solve these kind of complex questions okay so that's it for today i will definitely see you in the next video